Hi there, and welcome to this episode of Write With Me at IELTS Juice. This time, we have a report, and the rubric here has only one visual. It says, the chart below, which is a bar chart, shows the proportion of male and female students studying six arts-related subjects at a A1. UK University in 2011. Okay, uh, I need to point out that we are all talking about 2011. I'm going to put it over here for reference. This is going to be important. And uh, in fact, I'm going to explain this why. So I need some space here. This will determine our grammar tense. So for this report, we do not need present simple. We do not need anything about future and uh, present perfect because we don't know the state of uh, this university right now is again out of the question. So my grammatical tense is going to be past simple. This is going to be my choice. Because basically, I'm going to focus on all the events that happened in 2011. Then we're going to start. The first important element is the first sentence is to say what type of visual it is. We know it's a bar chart. Then uh, we need to say what it shows. So when I look at it, there is the proportion of male and female students. Let's take a look at it. I don't see percentages. Uh, on the y-axis, on the vertical axis, I see numbers, 0, 50, 100. Those are number of students. Uh, we don't have any, you know, description for, for y-axis, but I'm guessing those are the number of students. We cannot say 200%. Of students that's impossible and uh, there are no other metrics here so I'm gonna assume those are the number of students which really uh, assuming that makes sense because uh, there are 200 300 some something students combined men and men and women that's roughly like 500 students uh, at every university that's a reasonable number now, uh, we have male as uh, typically colored as blue and female typically colored as uh, red. Uh, please note that IELTS presents us uh, visuals with a monochromic tone. That means usually uh, in many, many, many cases, the visual is not colored and it's either black and white or a shade of gray and uh, usually the uh, the one that determines the difference is the type of shade maybe it's checkered maybe it's dotted maybe it's striped uh, maybe it has a solid color uh, you will uh, anyway understand the difference uh, at, at your exam so IELTS will make sure you seriously uh, can distinguish the differences between different color types. Uh, with that part aside, I need to also address another thing. This is only one visual. I know it is a bar chart, but still, when we talk about one visual and we still need to write 150 words, that's challenging. Really. Uh, I, I have seen people, then they look at this and, and they say, yeah, it's only one visual it's easy I don't have to go through different stages the problem is when you you are given fewer visuals it's actually more difficult because to get to 150 we actually need to report everything we see here uh, relatively speaking so you need to put more data and you all have no choice you, you do not get to choose important elements and select those ones and put them in the uh, final report. 
this is actually difficult. Now we should uh, continue. As I was saying what, uh, uh, about what this bar chart shows, I see six categories and the number of students. The categories are linguistics, philosophy, English language and literature, history and archaeology, art and design, communication and media study. And the focus is on only one university. We don't know the name of that university. It is located in the UK. And this data is from 2011. And because of that, I'm using past simple. That means almost all my sentences, almost, except maybe the very first sentence, uh, must be in past simple tense. Then we need to find an overview. But you know me, every time I come up with an overview, I think of two overviews. I'm going to put one over here and one over here, one in the introduction, one in the conclusion. And my overview comes right after the very first sentence. So let's see what I can find for these two overviews. Let's look at the bar chart. Okay, I see in uh, all categories, the number of female students is higher than the male students, except for art and design. That's an exception. That one is different. Male students are more than female students. Interesting. Second interesting point for me is the highest difference between the number of female students and male students happened in philosophy. Uh, there are 150 almost, uh, I, I can say 150, 150 female students versus only 50 male students. Three times the number of male students. So 150, three times more. Uh, that pretty much, as you can see, didn't happen for any other category. Uh, if you can find more uh, options uh, to put as overview, please, uh, you can write them in the comment section below. Uh, we will definitely check the comments and uh, get back to you. Another thing that, I, that you know, uh, comes to my mind is uh, to uh, sum the number of students. And when you sum them up, you realize that uh, basically uh, the, uh, the, I mean, linguistics, language and literature, art and design, and the last one, uh, which is uh, about uh, communication and media study, uh, they are above uh, 400, uh, uh, you know, number of students. The others are below 400. You can make it a thing. You can make it as another overview, like more populated uh, majors than less populated ones. Uh, please in, do not interpret it as uh, like favorite or more favorable. That's a bit risky. We don't know why uh, some majors are more popular than others. We don't know that. We are not here to discuss this. You just basically need to maintain a neutral tone and report the data as they are. Okay, with that out of the way, we now need to address the body part, the, the body of our report. How are we going to do that? If you follow the 400 higher uh, for, uh, or more than 400 and below 400 strategy, you can, you can put them into two categories. That's one way. You can say here, the ones that are higher than 400, and you basically focus on talking about the, the one, two, and the three. Uh, the other one is not, okay, so yeah, there are three um, majors that fall under this category, and the other majors fall under this one. And uh, all the interesting ones, 
uh, philosophy that has three times the number of female students than male students and art and design which has more male students than female students will will appear over here you can you can do it this way you can play it safe you can say i'm going to focus on uh, women uh, uh, women first so i'm going to focus on female students here and then I'm going to focus on male students in this paragraph. That's a safe strategy. It doesn't give you a lot uh, of comparison. You can compare female students with female students in different majors. That's not bad. And male students with other male students, you know, throughout all the majors. You can do that as well. Um, that, is, that is safe. It's not bad. So you need to change the content based on the number of students, 400 more, less than 400. Uh, based on gender, male, I'm sorry, female, male. Uh, and uh, you can even divide the information into uh, the difference. So if the difference is not significant, for example, communication and media study, not that important it's uh, the difference is uh, less than 20 less than 30 to be to be safe that's the same story for art and design that's almost the same story for history and archaeology or english language and literature but linguistics and philosophy they have a they have a meaningful gap a significant gap between the number of male students and female students. So that can be another uh, way that you can report. You can report four in one and two in another. There is no rule here that one paragraph is shorter than the other. What I'm trying to um, help you with right now is to tell you that your, you need to divide the report into two paragraphs. One, that's that's one reason why you may ask because controlling data is important and we have only one visual we need to go deep we need to give details we need to come up with different sentences and we need to compare different data so it's best that we divide it into two body paragraphs that's my first reason and my second reason is logic when you divide the logic must be understandable. I need to understand when I read your report, I need to understand why there are two paragraphs. We cannot just randomly start from the left hand side and say, yes, I'm going to put linguistic philosophy, English language and literature here and the rest over here. That doesn't work. That will give you a six in coherence and cohesion because the logic is not logical. There is no logic. We just report data from left and right in a sweeping manner. That doesn't help. So make sure when you divide your paragraphs, you do it because you need more details. That's why you need to come up with more information to get to 150. And the second uh, idea is that the logic behind this separation is clear. And then you state your final overview and we are done. If you wish uh, to see a sample on this, where we follow all these elements, we make sure all the sentences are in past simple tense. And, we, and if for all the samples that we do, we take the time to imp uh, find the errors, report the errors, score them, and then we don't stop there. We take those errors and we improve the work we improve the report and we bring it to seven and even higher scores so you can see what it was and how it would look like if those errors were not there you can see them both uh, on our posts the video for that sample can be found here check the description please and if you wish to see other videos with this little green apple, you know where to click. Remember, please eat healthy.